Wowie. Hello friends, Niz here, and today we are back playing the reboot server on Global Maple Story on the Thunderbreaker that is now known as Sniz, or has been known as Sniz, and uh, interesting tidbit of information I found out, uh, do not be using, do not be caught, wow that is great grammar, do not use auto hotkey, <laughs> don't even leave it running in the background while you play Maple Story because apparently my ban uh, was not just unique to me because apparently I'm not the only autist, or I'd say Nexon's the autist at this point. Uh, yeah, auto hotkey is banning a bunch of people, not just me. So uh, don't leave it running in the background because even if it's completely unrelated to Maple Story, if it functions of some sort, it's it will ban you. And it's an auto ban and uh, shit's hitting the fan currently. So don't know where that will be when this video is uploaded, but uh, at the time of recording this, that is what I have learned. Uh, because I record the gameplay, then I later go back and do voiceover on the gameplay and then edit the gameplay down so it's a lot less to watch uh anyways we're at gold beach training you know just training uh the goal right now is to get to level 33 to unlock events because most events unlock at either level 13 or 33 33 is where the current events unlock and we are blessed to have started this series with uh, best in slot ring being available to us and uh loads of other events that are going to be coming up that are going to be super helpful like the one droid event and all that but we'll get to those as they come uh i also have to take keep in mind that this is technically a fresh series even though we did have one episode which then i just got myself banned in uh following shortly following those clips but uh we will not worry about that right now either way uh just i just kept grinding assigned skill points assigned ability points you know just doing the same old same old uh at level 33 i unlocked the magpie event which is like the coin shop that event that's running currently uh the things to note is you want to get around 100 you want to get at least 150 coins per day that sounds like a lot but uh and it is a lot if you don't know what you're doing but easy way i found it is you're given five kites or you can use one per day each kite gives you 20 coins and you have to use one kite in one of the five major towns and you can only use one kite per town per day uh how do i explain that 100 coins total split over five days so that's 20 coins right there there's also the game of yut that you can play and there's trivia and a fly a kite flying game that you can do which i think we see trivia later on in the video either way the goal is to earn 150 coins the reason i say 150 is because the best in slot ring that i mentioned is called the master ss ring to get the master ss ring you need to craft four s rings to get s rings you need to craft s jewels to get s jewels you have to grab you have to buy these boxes which you can buy 15 of a day which cost 10 coins each so do the math 150 coins and they give you c c and b rank gems i think only c c rank gems when you you in town you can combine the c rank gems for a chance to tear up to b and combine the B to chance to tear up to A and combine A to tear up to S. When you have an S ring, you can combine it with the ring itself, S gem, I mean, you can combine it with the ring itself to get an S rank ring. When you have four S ranked rings, you can combine them all to make a master SS ring. That was very confusing and I hope someone understood that somewhere because I don't know how to explain it in, in any easier format. Just so it is, there's 15 boxes that you can buy per day, 10 coins each, buy all 15, combine the gems, uh, lots of questions somewhere in between their profit. Hopefully that makes it makes sense. Either way, uh, halfway through, I do go to get an MVP buff, which as explained in the original first episode, uh, I guess I'll explain it again, is an atmospheric buff, which means if you are present on the map when it is used, you will gain the effect. The MVP buff gives 1.5 times XP gain for 30 minutes, and there was also a Blessing of the Guild buff used, which is a weapon attack, magic attack buff of 30 for the next 30 minutes, or 15 for the next 30 minutes. Either way, it's a damage buff. After doing that, I went back to training, ran into some elite mobs, which as explained before, are mobs that are a lot bigger and a lot tankier than the regular mobs on the map. Uh, you kill 20 of them, and an elite boss spawns, which is important because elite bosses drop these boxes, which have lots of goodies in them, and elite mobs drop goodies as well. So, 
just kill him. There's there's root. That that's that's the gist of it. Just kill kill everything you see. Um. Yeah, I think I explained Kishin already, but if not, <laughs> hopefully I remember to later on when I go back through this clip. Uh, just so I don't double explain anything. Other than that, once I reached level 40, I headed into town, but I was abruptly interrupted by the trivia, which is a way to gain more magpie coins for the coin shop to buy the boxes. Uh, you get five coins for the trivia if you stay till the very end, no matter what. Even if you miss every single question, you get five coins. There's a total of 20 questions for a total of 20 coins from that, and if you answer all 20 correctly, that means you've made it to the end, so you get 25 coins. I believe you can attempt the trivia three times per day. It runs at the 15 minute mark of every hour and you get three entries per day. So total 75 coins from that if you are a genius and get all 20 questions right three times. Other than that, uh, once I made it to level 40, I headed it to my next training spot, which I will go over briefly. Remember how I mentioned that there were elite mobs and elite bosses like less than a few minutes ago? Uh, well, yeah, in this clip I do fight one. Uh, elite bosses are come after 20 elite mobs are killed and uh, the reason you want to fight them, especially right now, is there's an event going on called the Haste Event. Uh, basically you're given nine little mini daily missions to do and if you clear all nine you unlock the weekly mission, which if you do the weekly mission you get a bunch of stuff. Uh, I think there's like a hundred coins and then if you do, and this this event's called the haste event, uh, so you get nine daily little mini missions that award gift boxes that give you EXP and a random reward. You can get spell traces, cubes, and meso sacks, and the big one, the weekly one, requires you to kill 44,000, 44,444 mobs in a week and if you do that i think it's in less than a week because it's by a certain date i think i had like four days to do it by the time i completed it by the time i unlocked the weekly quest either way the point is if you complete that you get a bunch of event coins to buy the boxes with to combine the gems with to get the ring so it's worth doing there's a there's a lot of stuff to do right now and it sounds really time consuming but if you're just playing the game it's pretty easy to achieve because a lot of this stuff happens naturally I'm not really going out of my way to do it. Uh, other than that, uh, there's runes that appear, which I use, which give you double XP, and also have an extra effect associated with them, sometimes associated all the way from increased weapon attack speed to summoning elite mobs. So, you know, keep that in mind. Other than that, the elite boss came as explained, which is a part of one of the nine daily haste missions, so I killed it, got the haste mission done. Uh, eventually, I claimed my haste rewards, and I got to, like, level 50, and I went to town. Uh, also, as noted in the first episode, Tots appears every 10 levels up to level 60, so I did that, got my equipment box. Uh, I did it for level 40 as well, I don't know if it's even in the video, but I did, so I have upgraded gear, and, uh, you know, have a better weapon, doing more damage, you know, the point of the game, get bigger numbers to show up on screen so you can brag to your friends. Uh, slaughtered a lot of, lot of octopuses. Octopi? Octopussies? I don't know. I killed a lot of things. I'm pretty proud. Okay. Okay, so by now you might have realized that uh, I don't really know what's going on in the background. I just try to summarize what I've done uh, in the clips that play. So <laughs> hopefully I'm pretty accurate with where the explanations go where and I don't have to splice a lot of shit. So let's continue. At level 50, I got access to the hyper teleport rock, which as uh, briefly mentioned before is a teleportation device. Uh, open up your world map, double click on the map. It'll either say you can go there or you can't. If you can, it'll let you teleport immediately. There's no wait time, there is no downtime, there is nothing. It is very handy, very useful tool, which we can buy a week long one in the cash shop for 25 mil. So pretty nifty device, pretty nice to keep around. And I was at Boar's from 50 to 60. 
Somewhere in here, I go to trivia again and do that, which is my second entry. As noted before, you only get three entries a day. At 60, I did my job advancement to my third job. And other than that, I forgot to note that there are certain portals that can appear. They're called they're called bounty hunter portals. Uh, you can either get one Polo or Frito, and or maybe it's Poyo since they kind of look Hispanic. Maybe that's racist though. I don't know. Either way, uh, you help them out. You help out one of the two brother, bounty hunter brothers, and you get a reward for how well you've done. Uh, it's part of the haste mission to help them three times a day. So obviously want to do that and there's one more portal that they're associated with which is the inferno wolf um the inferno wolf is basically a big boss that you can randomly get selected to go hunt while hunting other mobs and then you go and do damage to it and when it finally does die because you, right now we're way too weak to kill it um everyone gets a reward that helped that helped and or participated in the killing of the inferno wolf also you get xp for it so you know, might as well. Uh, other than that, uh, Polo uh, tends to have his portals designated around mob fighting, and you don't get EXP from his little portal events. You get XP from the mobs you kill during uh, his events. Uh, Frito, on the other hand, has you do like little mini games such as like Dance Dance, Chicken Dance Revolution, or something like that or uh, climb a 50% a 50 50 chance tower dragon spire thing get a huge reward if you somehow make it to the end um what else or you can shoot some birds because he likes birds or eagles golden eagles don't don't shoot the really ugly ones though uh yeah that's the gist of it for those two, but I'll probably go more in depth over the bounty hunters later on because they are pretty useful. They randomly occur, and as noted previously, they are part of the haste mission, so one of the nine helped them three times. Uh, yeah, I'm not really big on doing guides on the events. I just kind of explain them as they occur, and since I'm doing the haste event currently, I might as well go over the nine daily missions. Kill 999 mobs. Kill 20 elite mobs, kill one elite boss, help Polo and Frodo three times, clear the Inferno Den, that's five, uh, get 500 combo kills, get 100 multi kills, or 500 multi kills, that's seven, and then the other two are something else. Either way, each challenge you do unlocks a box. There is four tiers of daily boxes, three tier ones, three tier twos, two tier threes, and one tier four. Obviously, you unlock them in a row, so tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four. Obviously, the higher the tier, the better the rewards, or the more of the rewards you will get. Uh, and if you complete, the first time you complete all of the daily haste events, uh, you will unlock the weekly haste event, which is, which rewards a bigger thing. And if you complete both the uh, the weekly haste event one and haste event two you get a time limited title that's a mouthful that gives some pretty insane stats so we might want to go for that as well man maple just sounds like such a huge fucking game and so time consuming i mean which it is but the more i talk about it the more discouraging this must sound to new players um but yeah i'm just trying to document what i'm going through as a completely new player so yay <laughs> Watch and learn, boys. Anyways, yeah, after I made it to level 60, I went for my third job advancement to uh, the next stage of Thunderbreaker. It involves some killing some bunnies and protecting a book of some sort. Talk to the NPCs. Congratulations, you can now summon sharks and jump into the air and dive down in the air. Whippy. Bye. <laughs>